So if I know, for example, and we do this, don't we? Yeah, a lot of the high 99% more and more women do this. And this is a weird pastime. So the person's committed a sin. Somebody's got a bit of history. He's done bad things. She's done bad things. They've done tawbah. Allah Ta'ala's forgiven them. They did something wrong. Yeah, and then there are three or four or five people sitting, and that man comes into Toba and they say, Oh, how are you doing? Uh, so, what happened when you did that sin? And they expose that person, and he's ashamed. He's ashamed at that time. So, that poor lad or person, sister, brother, they go somewhere else to another gathering, or a few people, four women, four women, sisters are sitting, and the sister sits down, and her son's astray. And they say, oh, nowadays, you know, children, they're off the track. And, you know, they're hinting that it's her child. And then she's ashamed, drowned in the sweat. Or if they say that brother or a sister, they know they've done something wrong. Or someone in their family has done something wrong. In, in, in tens of thousands, there will be one person who will praise him and say, oh, he was good. He used to assist the poor people and the widows. Until today, he's not given loss to anyone. He's not said anything bad about anybody. Very few people will come into that category that you will hear somebody praise somebody after they passed away. Because on dahiri things, the face, the appearance, the ibadat, there will be a long list of all their worship. But when that person goes in the grave, what will be asked then? Adab, the punishment will start. Let's understand, recognize that Allah Ta'ala has given us a very precious and valuable thing. And if we don't do our islah, we don't rectify ourselves, we don't understand our batin, and our akhlaq doesn't improve. Oh, I'm starting to pray tahajjud or salah. Alhamdulillah, this is a good thing. This is not a bad thing, but this is not the basis. This is not the reason why you've come to this gathering. You haven't gone to the khanka or the wadi of Allah to improve your ibadat. You've gone for this reason, that all of the spiritual and negative illnesses and maladies and sins that are within us, and our akhlaq and our manners which are on a low level, so when we sit in the company of the wali, the shaykh, our akhlaq can come into control, and we save ourselves from the biggest of sins. These are such big sins. And stated that if a person says to another person something to remind him of his defects and sins and bad actions, or if he makes him feel ashamed, or tries to disrespect him on his own or amongst other people, or jokes against him, to remind somebody about their past, their negative history. So when a Muslim, he pesters his Muslim brother, Oh, and reminds him or her about their sins, then death will not come to that person as until he himself or herself is not involved in that action, in that bad action, that bad deed. And this is a big warning for us. A big warning. That if you make the joke for about the thief, then until you don't become the thief yourself, you will not pass away. And who is saying this? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Think, where is our ibadat, our worship? Has presented the high, high grade practice. The Islam gives us the framework, the question doesn't arise, that if I'm saying, I'm following the rays of sunlight from Islam, then I should be walking as a clean, pure person on the earth, and not ridiculing and putting people down. And this is what we go to learn when we go to the Wali Wala's company. Yes, yes, we don't just go, it's not stated, oh, people keep saying, he's going to learn dhikr, all they do is dhikr. No, this is the means to the end point. And the end point, the objective, is to elevate our akhlaq. And people should say that this person's got good akhlaq. We've seen change in this person, he's a good individual. Instead of people criticize you, knock on your door, who's your sheikh? But do tawbah today, brothers, number one, that we've come here, we sit here, or whoever goes to the sheikh, to the teacher, our maqsad, our objective is what? Is alhamdulillah, that people should praise us with regards to our character, our manners, and our conduct, not tasbih. People shouldn't be looking at our tasbih, changing the color of the clothes, showing that we're clean and pious and we're dhakirin. This is not our objective. This is no link with us. The link is what I've just said. That the dunya, they come from afar and they say to the teacher that, Hazrat, we've seen a marid of yours, a student. And we know that I felt the design in my heart at that time after I saw that individual. What's he done? Whose company has he taken? Who's his teacher? We were in a journey and alhamdulillah, we stopped off one place and I didn't get a room in a hotel and I felt ill and I met this person. And he said, but why you distressed? What's the problem? I'll give you my hotel room and if I get it, fine, no problem. I'll pass the time. Why are you distressed? You take. He said, I was such in a severe situation and Allah's mercies came and he gave a little sacrifice for my sake and he didn't take any money and I found out, who is this? Who are you? And you keep on seeing these faces and they wander in the world. But we've seen very few people like this.